The terror attacks in Israel on 7th October were shocking and deserve condemnation. Let us keep aside differences, unite and adopt a zero tolerance approach to terrorism. Ka United Nations General Assembly men hanin kasngi kalashna ya ka resolution ban khot ya ka jingya sange ya syatno bat na ka benta ban pha jingya rap sha gaza ya ka ne ka resolution la draft da ka Jordan bat la shim da ka United Nations General Assembly la ong ru ba ka ne ka resolution kala yo ya ka jing kersian na ki sis pa arpo tli kiri khat sau tli pat ki wei kiri ki word persha bat sau pusan tli ki wei pat kiri ki kan tai no man bon Ya kane ka resolution la shim haka United Nation General Assembly Emergency Special Session haka ba ya dei bat kathama Israel Palestine bat la ong ru ba ya kane ka jingwot kala wan ru hadin ba ka Israel kala pen bana ban pen he isu isu ya kathama ring keu sha Gaza Henry haba ya dei bat kane ka ri India kala kentai ban vot ya kane ka resolution bat haka jingkran chapo ka assembly Kayu Jena Patel kepada ke India Deputy Permanent Representative Hai United Nation. Kala ong baka India kam semla pedang, bat kam semla penseluru yaki kam penterim kileno. In a world where differences and disputes should be resolved by dialogue, this August body should be deeply concerned at recourse to violence. That too, when it happens on a scale and intensity that is an affront to basic human values. Violence as a means to achieve political objective objectives damages indiscriminately and does not pave the way for any durable solutions. The terror attacks in Israel on 7th October were shocking and deserve condemnation. Our thoughts are also with those taken hostages. We call for their immediate and unconditional release. Terrorism is a malignancy and knows no borders nationality or race the world should not buy into any justification of terror acts let us keep aside differences unite and adopt a zero tolerance approach to terrorism mr president casualties in the ongoing conflict in gaza are a telling serious and continuing concern civilians especially women and children are paying with their lives this humanitarian crisis needs to be addressed we welcome the international community's de-escalation efforts and delivery of humanitarian assistance to the people of gaza india too has contributed to this effort mr president india is deeply concerned at the deteriorating security situation an astounding loss of civilian lives in the ongoing conflict the escalation of hostilities in the region will only exacerbate the humanitarian crisis it is necessary for all parties to display the utmost responsibility mr president india has always supported a negotiated two state state solution to the israel palestine issue leading to the establishment of a sovereign independent and viable state of palestine living within secure and recognized borders side by side in peace with israel for this we urge the parties to deescalate eschew violence and work towards creating conditions for an early resumption of direct peace negotiations we hope that the deliberations of this assembly will send a clear message against terror and violence and expand prospects for diplomacy and dialogue while addressing the humanitarian crisis that confronts us